Well, some cloud cover has moved back into our region. Saw some breaks allowing temperatures to get into the 70s. Now things will cool off thanks to that overcast skies building back in. Storms and showers were in the forecast today. That's what we saw most of today and currently seeing for some of our eastern counties. And with that, being dry and how we continue to see those drought conditions has brought us back another round of critical fire weather possibly today. Even though we saw some rain, not enough to reverse those drought conditions. But tomorrow will be cooler. Some of us will be in the 50s and 60s. But this is what we were locally. Now, some of us skimmed that first outlook, marginal risk. Again, the most effective and dangerous weather was well off to eastern Texas. I'll show you. Here it is. This is a pretty strong system here with a warm front bringing in that warm, moist air. Seeing uh, along this cold front boundary lifting here, nothing but tornado warnings all through the Austin area. We had some also going through portions of north of Dallas, still seeing one or two, but severe thunderstorms taking a closer look there. This is all along that cold front boundary into Dallas, some dangerous lightning for that area. If you have family, you definitely want to make sure you check on them. And even if you have family just a little south of us, southeast of us in Austin area along Interstate 10, definitely don't want to be driving through that. You'll be running through some showers and storms. Now here locally, most of the showers and storms have now decreased for us. We do see some showers again in Crockett County, a little shower here or two, but overall not as much activity as we saw earlier today because as that frontal boundary continue to push off to the east, We'll see cloud cover come back into our region as that low pressure wraps in that moisture. But overall, most of our activity is wrapping up going into tonight. Now, where you're seeing the temperatures come down for us is where we're seeing a shower or two. See in Crockett County into Sterling and maybe even Cole County, they saw a little more warmer weather a few minutes ago. But again, as those clouds continue to affect in our region, we'll continue to see temperatures drop for us. Now, let's talk about the winds. Winds are gusty right now. That has led to a red flag warning. What critical fire weather today, now into 8 p.m., that's when that red flag warning is expected to expire for us due to the gusty winds and dry air. Even though we saw some rain, not enough to reverse those effects. And with the winds kicking up and head up that cold front, seeing 20 miles per hour winds out of the southwest and south-southwest. These are some strong winds along that frontal boundary. Still seeing windy conditions as that frontal boundary moved to the east and behind it, kicking in some winds behind it with that low-pressure system. And as it moves off, we're going to see some more cloud cover come into our forecast, but that high pressure will build back into our forecast, allowing temperatures to climb. We're actually going to see two highs build in into the forecast with more cloud cover coming into next week. But overall, it's going to be a warmer weather going into next week, possibly getting into the low 90s. I know what you're thinking. We just got into spring, but that's what models are hinting that we may get a little warmer thanks to that double ridge pattern coming into the next couple of days tonight. We'll drop down into the low 40s. I wouldn't be surprised. Some of us clearing a little early into the upper 30s. Overall, some nice and cooler weather coming into tomorrow with temperatures getting into the 50s and possibly low 60s. I expect we'll get a little more warmer as conditions get better for us into the next couple of days, into the weekend, where we continue to see temperatures rise into the 70s and 80s. More clouds by next week, but check out those temperatures. Upper 80s already. Yes, I know what you're saying with no rain coming back into the forecast so far, no time soon. We'll keep you updated here at KSN News. We'll be back right after this.